the industry is really starting to get past the hype. Uh, and this is the most important thing that I'll start with, and, and hopefully we'll leave you with that message uh, uh, as I walk through this in the next few minutes. So I was a little dismissive at, fu at first, right? I'll be, I'll be frank. Uh, it's like, why, why use blockchain? It's just, a, it's just a distributed database, right? So why incur all the overhead for that if you can build a system with a distributed database? We've done that before. What's so new about this? This is really a, a sort of a life cycle of what happens on the chain itself. So, you know, how parties interact on the chain, how blocks will actually get added to a transaction. Uh, the core nature of this, of this uh, technology really is peer-to-peer -peer networking. So how it then is broadcast for everybody uh, to really take in that transaction, validate that transaction through the consensus mechanism. This is a mathematical approach on how you actually agree that the transaction is valid. Essentially, when you have uh, an application or a system that inherently produces uh, some, some things that would require a lot of gluing together, that's what you want to focus on is how do I harness that for my specific use case. And when we're talking about blockchain, we're talking about uh, how do you look at operational efficiencies from uh, reducing interfaces between systems, right? If you can transact on one shared ledger, on one shared database, wouldn't that you know, make it more efficient, make it less complicated, uh, reduce back and forth uh, errors and issues? Uh, really, this is where we started to focus on from a use case perspective. Uh, there are a lot of good and exciting things from blockchain, from the capabilities, but what should we really look at, right? What do we want to do? And how do you harness that? You know, getting all excited about the technology is one thing, but it really needs to solve business mission problems. 